from Mozambique to Mexico City, no gringo around has suffered more oral agony in the interests of entertainment. And in the land of the Olmecs and the Aztecs, he opted to beat the burn the wrong way. It's been a good day. I've eaten street food, which my stomach seems to have survived. I've gone to the local market and survived the local chilies. The only thing I haven't done today yet is gone to a typical Mexican restaurant and sampled some of their local tequilas. Tough job. Someone's got to do it. A lot of presenters will tell you that at Top Billing you sometimes get put in rather difficult situations. One of those situations wasn't really difficult, but it put you in a different state. We did a feature on tequilas. The guy lines up about six or seven tequilas. One of them had a live worm in it. I start with the first shot, put it down. Whew. Ay, ay, ay. Can you see my eyes watering? I'm crying on the TV. This is embarrassing. Be a man. Put another one down. Put another one down. As things go, audio problems. Can you do it again? Oh no, someone walked past. Can you do it again? By the end of the day, I'd put down probably about 10 to 12 shots of tequila on an empty stomach. And then after that, I had to continue presenting. Went into the story on the macarachis, and luckily it was, I had to start dancing, do my dancing moves, which came completely natural to me. But those are the things that happen on top billing shoots. If Yanez were to retire and sit out the rest of his days in a cafe just watching the passing parade, then the Mediterranean paradise of Croatia would have to be where he would choose to grow old disgracefully. So what is the Spitzer all about? It's about having fun, chit-chat, drinking coffee, waiting for your friends, looking around. It's having fun. It's like Saturday morning having fun. So let me get this right. Come down here on a Saturday, order your coffee with your favorite waiter who always sorts you out. Make sure you're wearing your nicest shirt. Yeah. Your favorite sunnies. Yeah, you're ready to find yourself a new girlfriend in Zagreb. Yeah, and you just look around. So anyway, what's your name again? Most beautiful European destination without a doubt, Croatia. The place is spectacular, it's stunning out of a postcard. We went to Zagreb, which is such an underrated city, but so enjoyable. And the one thing that really caught our eye was every single guy in Croatia has got a supermodel girlfriend. I kid you not. Straight up, that's the way it is in Croatia. Dubrovnik, I can't even explain it. You've got to go there to see it. It is just out of this world. It's this old little town that's kind of perched on a rock with this turquoise sea surrounding it. This is the Adriatic and the visibility is about 50 meters. Now I've been evading this fear for a very long time. It's about time that I swapped the old snorkel and goggles for the real deal. I've always wanted to go diving and I've never done it. I've been with Top Billing for what, four or five years and I've never gone diving. In Croatia, I got the chance to go dive in the Adriatic Sea. Clarity perfect. I did a resort course with a beautiful girl. And uh, since then, I'm addicted to it. It is the most phenomenal, liberating experience. I think I understand now why divers always fall backwards, because this thing is so heavy and clumsy that the only thing you can actually do is just flop backwards. Okay, I saved that one. I have to tell you, however, as I went down, I didn't quite have the technique and I was overconfident as usual. 20 minutes into the dive, my diving instructor looks at my gauge he looks at me, he looks at the other people, and he says, we got to go up. Basically, I was breathing so heavy and I was so excited that I finished all my air within 20 minutes. As if one isn't already on edge, interviewing the likes of Candace Boucher, the director always seems to enjoy making it tougher. At Top Billing, you get to do interviews on bicycles, you do them on trains, you do them in cars, you do them on planes, you do it on every kind of mode of transport. The one thing I've never used is something called a Segway. It's basically a two-wheeler. You stand up on it and you lean forward to go and you lean back to stop. Segway is an incredible mode of transport. There's only one problem, it makes you lazy because you don't end up walking anywhere. But honestly, the feeling you get is you can see everything, you can smell everything, you can feel everything. Impressing the romantic love of his life, his his son or his mom are things he can do on his own time. Our crews far prefer seeing him come a cropper and throwing pie in his own face, a talent he's come to hone to the great amusement of those behind camera. Why is my director laughing at me? Look at him. <laughs> we 
they've seen the likes of Zac Efron, Catherine Jenkins and Pat Lambie come into their own and Yanez has become an ace at getting the best interviews out of them with one glaring exception. There's just so many interesting people I've met. The one person that stands out for the wrong reason, she shouldn't even be a celebrity because she's famous for doing nothing, is Kim Kardashian. We interview her, she watches us set up, we set up the most beautiful shot, backlight, sunset, boats in the background. She steps out, looks at us after an hour of hard work and says, I don't shoot in direct sunlight. Can you believe that? So we're like, cool, change the setup of the shot. I interview her, her sister Chloe's cool. Honestly, where, where does one draw the line? Let me go to the bathroom. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we call the shots, we're allowed to say, you know what? enough i really just need some family time and we definitely know when to pull back a little mm -hmm. but we love showing the things that we show we feel like we're we're documenting home videos almost while i'm asking her questions she's busy bbming or doing whatever she's doing on her cell phone the moment i ask her the question she kind of hesitates looks up answers it straight back to the phone i was so irritated how do you win Sexiest Man, the hearts of thousands, and your ticket to the best of the good life? For all of you guys who want to become presenters, listen to me very carefully. I got the opportunity to work for Top Billing five years ago and I grabbed it with both hands. Don't do this for the fame. Do this for the love of travel, the love of meeting interesting people, and the love of sharing your life with the rest of South Africa. Go out there and get it. And since Yanez's love affair with our top billing viewers is far from done, if you want to compete, well, you'll have to carve out a market, a six-pack, and a scene-stealing routine with your signature on it.